Hi everybody, I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. And what are the solutions to the growing campaign frequency issue in podcast advertising? Podcast advertising is exploding, but there's growing concern over a campaign frequency issue. Podsites one of the leading podcast attribution companies has been sounding the bell and the alarm over the growing frequency problem. In their just released Q2 2022 attribution benchmark report, Podsites put some very specific numbers on this growing issue. Now, they should know they are measuring a lot of podcast advertising. Um, at their account, about one out of every $3 uh, of podcast advertising over the last year. They've measured 7 billion impressions, 3,000 campaigns, almost 900 brands, 400 million of advertising. So they are seeing a lot of podcast advertising. And what they're seeing is frequency, campaign frequency has doubled over the last year. So in Q1 2021, average uh, campaign frequency was about three. It's now doubled to six. But here's the problem. It's causing conversion rates to go down. Conversion rate answers the question, how many of the folks reached went to the advertiser website? Back a year ago, Q1 2021, 1.73% of those exposed went to the advertiser website. And you notice that has been going down and down. In Q1 2022, Podsite says this 1.1% conversion rate is a record low for the medium. Now, when you have lower conversions, you also have lower sales conversion, lower purchase conversion. Purchase conversion answers the question of the folks exposed, how many actually bought something. So that has been going down. So what is the solution here? There's a simple solution. You prioritize reach over frequency. Now, there is no lack of reach in podcasting. Now, no doubt, yes, a number of years ago, marketers kind of dismissed podcasting because it didn't have scale, it didn't have reach, but a heck of a lot has changed over the last seven years. According to Edison Sheravere in second quarter 2016, only 8.6% of American 18 to 49 year olds were listening to podcasts in a typical day in America. Well, flash forward to second quarter 2022 in the just released Edison Share of Ear study, uh, podcast reach has tripled since 2016. One out of four 18 to 49 year olds in America are reached in a typical day. So there is a lot of reach to be had. Now, where is this reach concentrated? 18 to 44. According to the Q2 2022 Edison Share of Ear, just a little under one third of 18 to 24 year olds are exposed to podcasting in a typical day. About 28% of 2534 34s are reached by podcasting in a typical day. And about 23% of 35, 44 year olds are reached in a typical day, according to Share of Ear. Now, what about in the typical week? Edison's Infinite Dial says one out of three American 18 to 49 year olds are reached by podcasting in a typical week. That's half of American TV reach, which is 65%. So podcast reach is coming on strong and look out TV because these are some significant reaches that have accumulated over a very, very short period of time. So the reach is there three strategies to prioritize reach over frequency. Number one, buy more shows and genres than the stereotypical podcast genre or buy, the obvious fit podcast. So you have a mental health app, you just run in the mental health podcast, you have an online sports betting app, you just buy sports podcasts. There are way more category purchasers for you to reach. You can find that with MRI or Nielsen Scarborough Podcast Buying Power Study, and it'll show you all of the shows and genres that have strong audience in your purchase category. So, Let's take an example of that online sports betting app who was only buying 
uh, sports podcasts. According to uh, Nielsen's Scarborough report, here's the share of listening among sports bettors. Well, where's the sports podcast? Way down there, number four, only a 12 share. So there's tons of category audience. Uh, in fact, a number of podcasts actually beat sports. So use Scarborough shares by genre among purchase categories as your media plan. So literally, if you take these percentages and say, OK, I'm going to put 6% of my impression in arts, I'm going to take 11% of my impressions to put them in society and culture, you will dramatically diversify your impressions and significantly increase reach. Strategy number two, when you're using MRI in Scarborough, prioritize the reach metric, not the index metric. Chasing high indexes can sometimes get you into trouble with tiny audiences. So use the data and focus on reach. And I'll give you an example here. Let's say someone was prioritizing women. So the podcast on the left, way over indexes on women. It's awesome. They got a million overall impressions, heavily skews female. Media vehicle B, only 40% female under indexes but look at the impressions. So when you do the math on this, guess what? Media vehicle B has triple the female impressions. So follow the reach, not the index. Strategy number three, go deeper down the ranker. Don't just buy the top shows. Edison's podcast metric study is the only podcast audience measurement service that has people-based reach, not device-based reach, people-based reach. And this allows you to look at duplication and shared audiences between shows. So the top 10 podcasts in America reach 9% of the total US. The top 100 reach 15%. The top 500 podcasts reach 20%. So as you go further down the ranker, reach grows and grows. You can take the same impressions spread them out over more shows and your reach will go through the roof and you can see here the top 100 podcasts have 67 percent more reach than the top 10 podcasts now just last month out of the uk radio center the leading audio effectiveness uh, measurement firm released the world's largest study of campaign effect for audio they call it big audio data mine. And one of their big conclusions was that campaigns that focus on building reach deliver stronger effects. Nielsen did 500 sales effect studies cross platform across many, many different categories. And when they looked at share of sales lift, reach drove 22% of sales lift targeting only drove 9% of sales lift. So reach trumps targeting two and a half to one as a sales driver. The father of modern media planning, Erwin Efren, tells us that most advertising usually works by reminding people about the brands they know when they happen to need that product or service. Ads work best when the consumer is ready to buy. Reminding a lot of consumers is better than lecturing a few. So our key takeaways here, PodSites has been sounding the alarm. Campaign frequency is on the rise, and that's causing the proportion of site visits, conversions, and purchase conversion to fall. The easy solution, grow reach at the expense of frequency, and there is tons of reach available in podcasting. The 18 to 49 reach has tripled since 2016 in a typical day in america one out of four are reached daily one third are reached weekly so there's lots of reach to go around to grow your conversions and your purchases the three strategies buy more shows and genres than the obvious stereotypical fit you can find this out of MRI or Nielsen Scarborough, their podcast buying power, you'll find lots and lots of category purchasers by actual title or by genre. And when you're looking at that MRI and Scarborough data, prioritize the reach, not the index. The index can take you down the rabbit hole of tiny audiences. And then 
spread those impressions further down the ranker. Uh, Edison's podcast metrics show that as you go down the ranker, uh, reach accumulates dramatically. In fact, two thirds of podcast reach is found outside the top 10 shows. Take the advice of Erwin Efren, remind the many, don't lecture the few. The audio active group here at Cumulus Media in Westwood One offers national brand and media planning strategies, creative testing, creative best practices, and measurement of the entire sales effect or brand lift of the entire audio campaign. Each week, we publish a new Audio Insider case study. You can find it at our blog, cumulusmedia.com or westwoodone.com. And when you're there, you can sign up for free to get the weekly email of the case study or Audio Insight. Thanks so much for the opportunity to take you through the three solutions to overcome podcasting's growing frequency issue. Thanks so much.